we are on our way to Amarillo, Texas, and Adrian, Texas, which is, Adrian is the midpoint of Route 66, and we're uh, getting together with the uh, remaining uh, scenic cruisers. They built 1,001 of these buses from 54 to 56, and it's the first gathering of like, like this of, of, of any time. Uh, it's the first 40-foot bus, almost double-decker, uh, deck and a half, they call it, a lot of guys call it. Uh, it was a very unique, very iconic bus. They were all built exclusively by GMC for Greyhound. Still very sought after today. About, by my count, probably 230, 250 remain of the 1001 originally built. It has a big uh, eight-cylinder diesel Detroit, and they're a four-speed uh, manual transmission. You have to double clutch. They're non-synchronized four-speed. When you find parts available, you got to go after them, you know, soon, because uh, they're 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 tough to find. So. And they don't, a lot of the parts don't interchange with anything else, so it's, it's important to go after what you can when you find it. It's really cool. It's really cool. We have a lot to talk about. There's a lot of stories. And the, the old retired Greyhound drivers really enjoy seeing these, and they all have a lot of good stories about them. You know, it's a nostalgia thing, I think, with most people. They, you know, instantly remember, you know, and they're kind of blown away when they see one on the road again. It's kind of an instant flashback. There's a lot of uh, Greyhound history with Route 66, and a lot of the... Uh, Route 66 uh, books don't cover anything about Greyhound, and I mean, Greyhound was a very significant part of Route 66. Pretty heavy, and they're real stable, and the wind doesn't really bother them that much. Most of them, the remaining ones, are, are motorhomes, you know, customized RVs. There's a few of us, I would say there's probably 25 or so that are restored or partially restored as seated coaches. They're, they're a lot of fun to drive. 